What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Phil Porto, photographer, videographer, and educator. And today on the channel, what I wanna talk about is this lens right here, the Fuji XF23 1.4 version two. So I wanna talk about my experience with the lens, show you guys some images, and kind of leave it up to you if you think that this lens is worth the upgrade. So first, I wanna give a huge shout out to the team at Fuji. Thank you guys so much for sending me over this lens to kind of be able to test and see what I thought about it. Um, I loved the images that I got from it. And like always, I wanna encourage you guys to just keep on killing it. You guys keep raising the standard and I'm thankful for that. And I thank you for the opportunity to partner with you guys in, in taking some of these images and sending them over to you guys. So let's talk about the lens guys, all right? First, I wanna preface the fact that I did own the 23 1.4 version one. And there were certain things that I loved about the lens, and then there were certain things that I did not love about the lens. And the cons kind of outweighed the pros, which is why I wound up selling the lens. So one of the pros was that some of the images were tacked sharp and just made for beautiful, beautiful, beautiful content, okay? But the reason I say some images is because it did have a focus problem. Um, I thought it maybe just was my lens. I got a different one, same kind of thing. Uh, some of my past team members who were also using the lens kind of had the same situation. So it was kind of like at times the couple or model would pose and they would be a bit soft yet the image behind them would have the sharpness and it wasn't missed focal points. It was just the lens itself was missing focus. And so that was kind of a problem. The second thing was that when it came to autofocus, it just wasn't very quick. It had problems catching focus at times um, or even just being able to be up to speed with catching focus. And since I do a lot of movement with my couples and with my models, that just did not work for portrait time for me. Like when it came to still stuff, like maybe makeup or, you know, something like that, or a ceremony where there wasn't a ton of movement going on, it was fine. But as soon as anything had any kind of quick pace to it, the lens kind of fell apart for me. So I sold it. Then a lot of people were ranting and raving to me about the F2 version of the 23 millimeter. So I picked that up and I'm not gonna lie, it was a decent lens. I didn't have a problem with that lens. However, it wasn't enough to make me go, wow, I need this, I gotta keep it. So it wound up collecting a little bit of dust before I then posted it on Facebook and ended up selling the lens. And so it was kind of like an out of sight, out of mind. Um, I was just going on with my, with my work and didn't even think about the 23 1.4. Uh, then Fuji announced that they were going to release it and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I hope that it's up to par with what they're planning to put out with all these other lenses. And so here I am killing it with the 18 and 33 and truly just loving these lenses. And I get the opportunity to test out the 23. So of course I'm going to do it. Like any opportunity I get to first partner with Fuji, I'm going to do it. Any opportunity I get to try a new piece of gear from the brand that I support, I'm going to do that as well. So I decided to try out the 23 over uh, a few week period. And so the first thing I did was I took it on a cruise that we went on with a couple and I took some photos of them and I was really impressed. Like it was a short period of time that I was taking photos of the couple on the cruise. So I didn't get to do a whole bunch with it, but what I did get to do, I was impressed and really looking forward to trying it out. So this past weekend, I had a double header, one in North Carolina and then the next day in New Jersey with two couples that I absolutely love. So I knew I really wanted to take this lens with me and see what it could do. And I'm impressed guys, I really, really am. The sharpness, is consistent from image to image to image. And what I love that Fuji is currently doing is that all of their lenses have the same kind of feel to them and 
a very consistent look from color profile to how it actually physically looks like it's just a beautiful piece of glass and it feels really really good in my hands so i was really really thankful to have this lens and partner it with the 18 and the 23 uh, 18 and the 33 throughout the day uh, it just felt right as opposed to you know sometimes you have a lens that's very very different and it just throws off the whole flow of the day um so i loved it you know and I love the fact that the images that I've been editing are super, super sharp from image to image. I don't have to go searching for images that are sharp. I just find the image that I like most because they're all consistently sharp. Then it leads me to the other problem I had, the autofocus. That is no longer an issue. The autofocus is seriously, mwah, bada boom, beautiful. Like so, so good, so, so fast. I tested it with some walking shots, had the couple walk pretty, pretty fast paced, you know, from here to there. And all of the images were sharp. All of the images were in focus. The autofocus just kept on catching and delivering time and time again. So I will say, if you're testing something out on a wedding day, always get the safety shots first. So I knew tried and true, the 18 has been consistent for me for the past few months. So I did the walking shots with the 18 as well, just to make sure that I'm not like letting the couple be the guinea pig to find out that something didn't work. So I then did them again with the 23 and same thing. Everything was in focus. It was beautiful. It was great. The quality was beautiful. And what I love about the new lenses is from lens to lens, when I go to edit all of the kind of color profiles are very, very similar. And I don't have to drastically edit something different from the previous lens that I was shooting with. So I'm very, very thankful for that. So I enjoyed it. Like it was a reliable, it was a consistent, high quality lens, as you can see from the images I've been sharing. So now the big question is, how often am I going to use this lens? And let me first say, I have never, ever been a primarily 35 millimeter equivalent shooter. Like even when I was Canon back in the day, I had a 35 millimeter Sigma art and I shot with it a lot, but I was typically shooting at the 85 and 24 focal length. And so that being the case, while I was shooting these weddings, I did always kind of feel like, man, I wish I had the 33 or the 18, whichever wasn't on my other body, because those seem to go best with my style for a wedding day. Um, so I will incorporate the 23, but it will not. I mean, no way, shape or form replace the 18 and 33 combo that I shoot for a majority of a wedding day. So. It's not that the lens had any issues, it's just that I personally, as a photographer, have a preference. Now, I know that there are some photographers that they live in the 35 millimeter, like focal length. They live there, they hang out, they camp there, that's their jam. If that is you, then yes, you need to rent this lens. And if you're like, but I had the previous version, no. They don't even compare. They're not even like uh, uh, on the same wavelength, it's like, DC movies and Marvel movies like they're just night and day a difference. So This is the Marvel movie version of the Fuji 23 uh, F 1.4 Leaps and bounds better than the last one. So yes, check it out um, If that is you and you like the 35 millimeter focal length this lens is for you for me personally where I see myself using this lens a lot is on engagement shoots and you know, stuff like that or quick like photo shoots with a real estate agent or a model where I'm really trying to get to know the person while I take the photos. I typically don't like shooting with two cameras or going back and forth or having to change out a lens. So I could see myself using this lens 
in those kind of situations when I'm going to shoot one body and just kind of be in the moment with that person or that couple because this is kind of like the perfect balance between the 18 and the 33. It's right in the middle and I feel like I can get all my photos on an engagement shoot or like the other shoots that I had mentioned with this one lens. So, so yes, this lens will get a lot of use from me. Um, it's just going to be in a different way than maybe I would have expected or maybe how some other people will use it. And that's the beautiful thing about photography. We don't all have to do things the same exact way. So check this lens out. And if it's in your wheelhouse, trust me, you're gonna ride with this. Like this is for, for a 35 millimeter shooter, this is the, the Robin to your Batman. So peep it out, check it out. And if you liked the video, leave a comment, subscribe. And if you didn't like the video, don't leave a comment, but still subscribe. Maybe the next one will be a little bit better. So until next time, thank you guys so much. God bless. And like always, if there's something you want to see, leave it in the comments. I do this for you guys, not for myself. So I would love to create content that's beneficial for you and your brand. Until next video, God bless.